Harden writes in The Athletic that according to Steph, a healthy resentment, quote unquote, developed between him and LeBron in their camps as they faced each other in the finals four straight times. But that now they've let all that go and they've become good friends. So, Paul, your thoughts on this? I, I felt like, you know, when you play against somebody and y'all chasing the same thing, over the course of like a number of years like they did, man, it's just like, you know, when they say healthy resentment, I, I kind of look at it as like, you know, you, you got your boy or something and y'all kind of chasing the same girl. So you kind of like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like you look at that, that's your boy and all, but y'all want the same thing. And that's what they were, you know, that's what they were going through with each other. Yeah, you know, off the court, <laughs> off the court. You could have picked another one. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Off the court, they like, man, we cool and all, but you got something I want and, and it's, it's just bothering me. Mm. You know, so, and you kind of felt that way in, in the past with certain relationships. You know, I, I kind of like, you know, I felt that way about Kobe. I see Kobe every summer, like, you know, especially after they beat us the second time. It was like, I'm cool with you, but I'm like, damn, you, you took something from me. You, you know what I'm saying? So just like, and then I can see now, when they look back at that on, on this Olympic team, Curry and, and LeBron, they, they, you know, they talk about their wars and it's a lot of what ifs, you know, that go on between them. Like if LeBron win one more title against the Warriors or, or you know, or Curry, if they didn't, if we had to won that, that championship when we won 73 games, what we'd be talking about. And now they can sit back, play together, win a gold medal together. And, uh, you know, it's no more resentment, or so to say. You know, because they've always hung out and talked off the court. You know, I don't see Draymond and with. with well, you go acknowledge. You go acknowledge. With LeBron and, yeah, but that's you know, that's I know recent. he talks to Steph, and you know they always play on this All Star game together and stuff like that. So, but you gonna yeah, always have, as you know, Paul, them camps. But it's good at the end of their career now to see this. Oh yeah. You know, because they're not probably not gonna be battling for no more championships. I don't see Golden State. I don't see. Definitely don't see the Lakers. So, what you looking at you like that for? <laughs> you just so had, now they can ride off into the sunset with a gold medal together. You can't say that, but you know anyway. what I'm saying? You can't say that. Um, but you're going to always have camp skip, right? People saying stuff about Steph to LeBron and LeBron is yep. camp over here. And then Curry's camp saying stuff about LeBron. And, and so you're going to always have that type of a relationship and respect for one another as basketball players, but you also got a guy coming up. Now, remember, Curry is younger than LeBron. Now, all of a sudden, Curry is rising, stars rising. All of a sudden, he's looked at differently Absolutely. than LeBron. LeBron, to some degree, is looked at as, like, this villain, even though he's not a villain. And when I say that, I mean because of leaving Cleveland and doing the press conference deal, going to Miami... And they looking at that, and they created such uh, disdain for him behind that, which to me was ridiculous. Dude, go wherever you want to go and do whatever he wants to do. What's the big deal? But then Steph Curry, he got the, his daughters on his lap, nice and pretty. <laughs> You're right. Mama Cook, Mama Cook, she got the chef hat on with the yeah. magazines and the restaurant. It's, you know, yeah. nice. And where LeBron is chasing rings. And yeah. it, so all of that sort of stuff from the camps create this sort of tension mm -hmm. in between people that really is not there, and they don't never really get a chance, even though they may, as Paul say, they may see each other and embrace each other in an all-star game, and that's pretty much it. They not traveling off. They stuck together now. They, they in Vegas. Where they at right now? They, they left Vegas. They in London. So they went South to Sudan. Abu Dhabi and then they went to So they done been to Abu Dhabi. <laughs> they done, South Sudan. They done, they done went. Play them. Think about this, play though, them. Uh, okay. Skip. They done spent a, a week or so in Vegas together. They have. They done spent some time now in, in Abu, Abu Dhabi. Dhabi. Now they in London. Yeah. Hanging out. They gonna be in Paris for a little bit. So they either get... You, we know each other now. Oh, it definitely. feels different. Mm -hmm. Now we can talk about things that we may wanted to talk about as players, but we kept our distance from those things because we had outside noise. That's how yeah. they think. I mean, these are two of our biggest superstars yeah. of this generation. Well, the and two biggest. The two biggest. Right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, obviously, they're, they're both iconic figures. Yeah. And, and chasing the same thing. Yeah. You know, which is 
on and off the court supremacy. I mean, they sell shoes, they do commercials. It's like they're competition. And like, it wasn't, and, 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 and when you go back to Magic and Bird, Michael, they said, it's you, go boy, we out of here. LeBron never surrendered. No. You know, he never surrendered to no. Steph, like, go on, man, you can go and handle it, I'm gonna still play a little bit, mm -hmm. but it's all you. Mm -hmm. You know, they, Magic and Bird gave it to Jordan, go on, man, I'm tired, I'm, I've done this enough. They had. Timing was different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so I was there for all this, sort of in and around all this. Remember, LeBron, through the Heatles days, the Miami days, he was it. He, he, he became the face of the league and was the most popular player by far. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, because he wasn't the first overall pick, Steph, what was Steph, the seventh pick, I think, mm -hmm. in the draft, but kind of came out of nowhere because nobody really saw this coming. No. And all of a sudden, uh-oh, he's the greatest shooter ever? And he's the baby-faced assassin. Yeah. And it, he was so cuddly, lovable, lovable. for the kids, because all the kids just love Steph because he's mm -hmm. just so touchable because he's he's our size. You know, he's yeah. like, he's, he's normal-sized, right? Mm -hmm. Even though he's six, three, which is still by most people's standards, is pretty tall. Yeah. But he looks little on the court and plays big. And and it was such a threat to LeBron. It just came out of nowhere and then it just caught fire. And all of a sudden he's winning MVP and they're winning all those games. And then they beat LeBron in the finals, but but LeBron got screwed, man, because he he lost Kevin Love before the finals and they lose Kyrie in overtime of game one. Yeah. And I, I I'll always say the best three games I ever saw LeBron play were one, two, and three of that series because he was, you want to talk about one against five? It was yeah. him against the world. And he hung in there. The, look at the numbers he put up in those first three games. And then in game four, they switched and put uh, Iguodala in the starting lineup, put him on LeBron, and it, it just flipped on his head. And that was the end of that series. So the, the point was the camps started going back and forth. And like Joe Varden wrote, People close to Curry often pointed out how much drama seemed to follow James' teams, whether it was Cavs or even before that Miami. But it, 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 LeBron is the drama king. It's just always something going on. Yeah, but when you, on. Got, when you got that, people yeah. doing this, chewing yeah. off your earlobe yeah. constantly, right. you, you, negativity seeps into your mindset yeah. about who that individual is. Yeah. And then there was some pettiness going back and forth because LeBron had the Halloween party where they made cookies with the Golden State Warriors on the Golden State with Steph no, and others like, on the cookies you like when in Steph graveyards. Said, I'm a better you know, scorer like, than LeBron. Yeah, he, well, he did. And this was early. This is like yeah. before Steph started becoming like super yeah. Steph. Yeah, like he said some stuff. I remember that because I was looking at that like I don't know because LeBron was averaging 30 at the time. And, <laughs> Steph yeah. was only at like 25 at the time, and I was. Yeah, right, but it, a, it, it happens in sports all the time. It just does. Man. And then there was the Harrison Barnes wedding, where Steph was caught on cell video, mock dancing like LeBron, like making fun of LeBron's dancing, and you could see <laughs> Kyrie, who was about to be LeBron's ex teammate, laughing hilariously at Steph, mocking LeBron's dancing. So it's just like pettiness was going back and forth. Did they ever hate? They did not hate, each, hate other. each other. They, they did not hate. Were they frenemies or whatever you want to, like you said? Yeah. Maybe some of that was going on. But even but, doing all this with him and Steph, LeBron was still kicking it with Draymond. Yeah, he, like well, he was. They, they, like, they, they had their one clash. They got yeah, Draymond ejected that, yeah, and yeah. suspended. But after yeah. that, they, they, they been boys. Yeah, oh, happy. And that's the but connection. But you could be, be friends with the teammate. You know what I mean? Teammates I was friends with and didn't rock with the actual dude. That, that's but just... I was friends with their yeah. teammates. Yeah. But it's good to see right now. You know, well, just them but to your, on the court. To your together. point, yeah. the quote unquote war is over because yeah. it, they're, you, you, they're not on course or on path to play each other in next year's finals. But even I don't if, think. But, but even if the they, I think yeah. even if they were, yeah. had this relationship uh, or this Olympics had been eight years ago, this, this conversation wouldn't be today because That's they would have had an opportunity to sit yeah. down and That's go to point. wherever it was at eight years ago. You know, they'd be in Tokyo, wherever, together, yeah. hanging out, chilling. But they get that opportunity now. Yeah. And from what I see, it looks legit, authentic. They, they seem to really like each other's company. So, good for them. Mm -hmm. But it was sticky for a while yeah. just because they're, they're 
How many times do you play the same team four straight years yeah. in the finals? I mean, yeah. it just doesn't happen, right? Okay. Now.